Hey guys, it's Alyssa. So I am back with another video and today's video is going to be my first back to school video of this year. I don't know how many more I'm going to do. I probably will do a few more, but probably not too many. So yeah, I'm really excited about today's video because I'm going to be doing a back to school emergency kit for girls. Um, I did one of these last year and I really like doing it. I love watching these videos. I love making these videos. So I wanted to do another one this year, and if you guys want to watch last year's video, then you can click the link in the description box, and you guys can go watch it after you're done with this one. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for more back to school videos like this one. Also make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys love the back to school season. I mean, I love back to school videos and back to school supplies and like all that. I just don't like going back to school. And then also comment down below what you're the most excited for about back to school. And then also make sure to follow all my social media, which will be somewhere on the screen and down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so I have two kits because I have one of them, this one, is the middle school kit. And basically, um, it's a middle school kit because it's a little bigger and you can fit a little more stuff. And then you can also put it in your locker because if you have a locker in middle school, then you want a bigger kit. Um, but if you're in high school, then you would have a smaller bag because you might not have as much room in your locker or you might have to carry it around in your backpack and you don't want to be carrying around a huge box in your backpack. So that's why I did smaller bags. But you can do whatever you want. If you're in high school, you can use the middle school kit. If you're in middle school, you can do the high school kit, whatever. It's pretty much the same stuff, just in different bags and a few things are taken out. So I'm just going to start off with the middle school kit and I'm just using a pink bin thing. I don't even know what you call this, but it, this is probably from Target. I know I've seen it at Target. You can get other colors too. So the first thing that you should keep in your emergency kit is a hairbrush. I keep a hairbrush in this kit because if you do sports, then you might want to put your hair up and then you want to, you know, brush it out and stuff. And it's just really nice to have this, especially if you have gym and then you can brush your hair after gym. So that's really nice. And then I have a little hand sanitizer in here. This one is in Hippo Berry. Um, I've actually probably never used this, so I'm not even sure what this smells like. But you know, you can use that for lunch. A lot of this stuff is pretty much self-explanatory, but I will explain it anyways. The next thing I have in here is this mini perfume. So basically, if you have gym class and when you get done, you smell or something, then you can use this. The next thing I have in the middle school kit is a mini lotion bottle and I just got this at a hotel so you can just find mini sizes at hotels or they're probably Bath and Body Works I don't know other stores that sell mini products and that's just good because if you have dry hands in the winter like I do then it's good to keep them moisturized the next thing I have are these cough drops and it's nice to have cough drops in your kit um, in case you have a cold and you know don't want to cough all the time so that's just nice in case you know just kind of you probably won't need to use them but you might so it's just good to have them and then the next thing I have is a lip balm and we all know why we have a lip balm because you know in case your lips get chapped stuff like that in the winter especially so that's just nice to have and the next thing I have are some hair ties and those are nice to have um, for gym or sports after school it's just really nice to have hair ties or extra ones if friends need them and then the next thing I have in here is a little deodorant I got this from Target but I'm sure you can get it pretty much anywhere um, and this is just nice to have after gym especially sports stuff like that and then I also have some Kleenex um, in case you have a cold I mean I know most classrooms do have tissue boxes but in case you don't want to go up and ask or get one I don't know I think that's I don't know it's weird but like I wouldn't want to have to go up in front of class and blow my nose I can just do it at my desk then there you go and the next thing I have here are some band-aids um, again I know that like you can go down to the nurse's office and get band-aids if you don't have to do that then you can always have them in your kit and you can just grab them whenever you need them and then the last thing in my kit is are some pads and you know that time of, a, of the month type of stuff you guys know so that's just there in case you need them. 
Okay, so that was it for the middle school kit, and now moving on to the high school kit. I know I explained pretty much everything else, so I'm just going to kind of just briefly tell you what's in the bag. So I actually have two bags. This one is filled with most of the supplies, and then this one is where you can keep your pads. The reason why I carry my pads in this little bag is because then you can just take this little bag to the bathroom and you don't have to like sneak a pad or something, and you don't have to like accidentally drop it or something like that, and you don't want people seeing that. So then you can just keep it in your little bag and then bring it to the bathroom and that's all good because no one sees what you're carrying and yeah. So I just have pads in here and then moving on to the main bag which has everything else. The first thing in here, I'm not going to explain it, I'm just going to tell you, but there's just the band-aids again, the same hand sanitizer, some hair ties, the mini deodorant, um, the throat lozenges or cough drops, whatever you want to call them, the lip balm, and last but not least, a nail clippers. I didn't have this one in the other bag, um, but I know sometimes you get like a hay nail or something and you just need to clip it off or I don't know, like you jam your nail and it gets ruined and then you have to go throughout the whole day with it like that and it's so annoying so instead of having to wait till you get home you can just have no clippers and you know it's in case i don't know it's kind of weird to keep them in a bag but i guess that's what i do and i find it really helpful so that's why i keep them in my bag but yeah that is it for the high school bag so that was it for my back to school emergency kit and i hope you guys enjoyed watching what you, you could keep in your bag. You could keep pretty much anything you want in your bag, but these are just some things that I think you should keep in your bag um, if you guys don't know what to keep in your bag, so yeah. Like I said before, I'm hoping to do some more back-to-school videos, but I might not do a ton, but I'm hoping to do a couple more. So if you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, leave a comment down below what you liked about it, and what you're going to keep in your back-to-school emergency kit bag. I said that really weirdly. Um, yeah, and then also make sure to subscribe for more videos from me, and then follow all my social media, which will be in the description box and somewhere on the screen. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!